good evening friends uh, today we will discuss uh, to design how to design a meta material unit cell using the cst microwave studio and also we'll compare and uh, <coughs> the design process in high frequency structure simulator that is hfss uh, and we will consider the square splitting resonators okay so <coughs> Before going to this design, we should have uh, some basic knowledge uh, about what artificial material is and what are the basic importance um, of meta materials. Okay, so uh, this one is the first kind of meta material which was proposed by Professor Sir John Flandry um, from Imperial College of London. He <coughs> proposed these kind of materials. Uh, which uh, can um, <coughs> give novel wave material interaction properties uh, just like negative uh, refraction and uh, invariance uh, of Maxwell's equation also uh, this uh, kind of device also um, give super lens properties and many more applications like uh, electromagnetic clocking and uh, novel antennas uh, hiding an object and um, novel filters and many more micro devices and the new era of electromagnetic simulation and electromagnetic resource are done using these kind of materials so <coughs> you should have some basic knowledge why we are using these things and what are the conditions how to calculate uh, the permittivity and permeability and all those things of this kind of um, <coughs> you know um, man-made devices um, giving novel um, electric and magnetic properties okay so there are a number of books available uh, available in internet uh, you can use to <coughs> study about uh, the theoretical concept behind these kind of uh, unit cells or materials okay so <coughs> this is the first uh, manu uh, meta material um, uh, you know uh, that uh, array which was simulated um, by um, smith and uh, their co-workers um, <coughs> this is a square type material um, array and it uh, gives rise uh, backward wave propagation and also it um, is used for a super um, lens focusing and uh, many more applications so <coughs> and this one is a image of um, the well known fabricated um, square splitting resonator in our lab um, it is uh, just a 10 cross 10 matrix array we uh, just designed it and uh, also we verified it in um, our laboratory um, you can um, see the size um, it is uh, around uh, 4 mm uh, sorry 2 mm and the all those things so <coughs> now science is advanced in such a way that uh, we can design such kind of things like uh, a flexible one also so <coughs> today we will consider uh, unit cell square splitting resulted having different parameters you can see this is the gap uh, which creates a capacitance in the first ring or the outer ring also this is the split with the split or the gap between two rings um, then the width of the rings which is same for both the rings and uh, the length these are the main parameters uh, we are going to consider about and the results then uh, let's go for the design uh, you have to open the CST microwave studio and uh, define these parameters that is uh, the gap g um, then <coughs> the height uh, of the substrate the length of the outer ring or length of the substrate then width of the wire which is behind that uh, magnetic rings then the split width then the thickness and uh, the ring width okay all these parameters are needed to um, design the unit cell so first you have to define these things as per my previous tutorial i have already told you how to define these things just you have to put the values and uh, write down the description for your wanting if you don't need then you may not write the descriptions okay so then um, go to create a brick press escape 
name it as uh, substrate then give the x minima as um, ls that is minus ls by 2 ls by 2 according to our uh, given parameter uh, name then it is a square type material so it will be also same ls by 2 to ls by 2 then our height will be minus h mm. when you will choose the material you can load from material library as uh, we need a for for lossy material Uh, you may take any other material um, but the property will vary according to the permittivity values or permeability values of that dielectric material so you have to first calculate in which uh, area you need the negative frequency uh, or the phase reversal properties and according to this you have to choose the material uh, that is the dielectric material ok you can see the preview then press ok now our uh, substrate is done now we will build up the rings um, how of these things ok so again press break escape that is uh, we will name it as a ring 1 mm, this one will be minus l1 by 2 to l1 by 2 then we will have um, the same parameters in y axis L1 by 2 to L1 by 2 and we will have a Z max of T which is the thickness uh, you can directly choose copper here or you can find find it from material library you can see the preview yes mm, then we will define another ring named as cut 1 um, it will be L1 by 2 you have to put it in bracket uh, for your uh, manipulation you can manipulate it later l1 by 2 plus uh, the width w then it will be l1 by 2 minus the width w width is the um, this w is the width of that ring uh, you can same thing copy and paste here also you can do the same thing here and we will have that z max as of before you can see the preview yes uh, then you can press ok uh, after that you have to go to the components then select ring 1 you have to go to boolean uh, and then boolean subtract you have to subtract that um, cut 1 and press enter uh, now you can see the ring is ready uh, the next uh, <coughs> work is to um, make a gap here which is uh, the split in the ring so <coughs> I have to pick that midpoint you can zoom it yes and I have to align the local coordinate there then I have to click the brick press escape we will name it as cut 2 um, then we will give it minus g by 2 tab g by 2 and our v mean will be minus w uh, you can see the coordinates here accordingly you have to give the parameters ok uh, you can see my v axis is towards uh, you know this side so that's why i mentioned it uh, minus w otherwise if it was uh, towards this side you can um, put the parameter here at the beam x axis so this one is uh, one part then it is minus t uh, sorry plus t uh, since our w axis is downward towards the substrate so you can see the preview yes it is ready then you have to press ok then similarly you have to select ring 1 then boolean subtract then select cut 2 and press enter you can see our first ring is ready then uh, why let let's go to build up the second ring <coughs> press the create brick bar now sorry 
um, I have to deactivate the local coordinate first then um, press break then name it as ring 2 then come to the x axis um, it is better to do things uh, you know um, <coughs> parametrically which will help you to do the parametric study later if you want to uh, see uh, the results in a large range by varying some quantity or some um, parameter of that device or uh, designed unit cell so it is better to write the equations always do not write uh, you know the calculated value directly uh, you may not edit it um, in future or it will be difficult to do a parametric study so uh, i will enter this one then it will be l1 by 2 it will be plus w plus s as you can see from our diagram it will be just like this uh, it is uh, l1 by 2 this first x axis l1 by 2 then it is a w then s okay then we reached this point so it will be better to uh, write the equation so similarly we will have l1 by 2 minus w minus s uh, it is ready now i think uh, uh, sorry this will be not minus this will equal us since it is the z max axis uh, sorry x max axis just copy and paste since we have a square structure mm, then we will have a t at the maximum point and you can see the preview yes it is ready just press ok then let's uh, have a cut as the previous one and so press escape name it as cut 3 um, <coughs> similarly we will enter um, the same values just press uh, you know um, write the equation correctly minus l by 2 t plus w it will be plus s uh, then it will be um, it will be again plus w you know um, and here we will have another minus w since we have to go another width cutting at this portion so uh, it is very easy if you, if you will saw this equation then you can understand easily so just copy and paste at y axis okay um, similarly we have a gen max t you can see the preview yes it is okay now so just press okay now select ring 2 and you may go to boolean subtract and press cut 3 and enter so now you can see uh, the structure is ready so we will go for the <coughs> split uh, again so um, you have to align the wcs with the selected point uh, first you have to look where your coordinate is and then we will define the next one so create break then press escape it will be cut 4 and you can write the same things uh, here minus uh, g by 2 to g by 2 then your v min will be empty since you can see the coordinates so we will have a v max um, it will be w and uh, we will have uh, a w max also t uh, you know before defining all these parameters you have to see um, where our local coordinate is uh, you know th all the things i have done before is uh, done using the global coordinate system xyz and we are we are on the top of the surface and at that point zero 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 but while doing this um, gap and doing this gap i am using uh, <coughs> the local coordinate system and according to that coordinate system i am defining all these value okay so you can see the preview and press ok yes now it is ready so press uh, ring 2 boolean subtract then cut 4 and you can press enter now you can see everything is ready now so finally i will 
deactivate the local coordinate and directly I will go to the back side then you can go to object and pick face directly double click and pick that area and align WCS with that face ok now you will go to design the wire back side of that uh, unit cell you can press escape name it as uh, your uh, wire structure you will have uh, you know uh, wire width uh, uh, there is a wire width somewhere no, I have not mentioned it so yes here is the wire width uh, unfortunately I have named it as LW so it will be minus LW by 2 to LW by 2 and uh, you know on Vmin and Vmax it will be minus LS by 2 to LS by 2 since we want a wire throughout uh, that structure um, unit set so you can put uh, w max l and you can see the preview oh, sorry cancel uh, it is not l it is t okay you can see the preview yes it is ready now i can press ok okay now our unit cell is ready completely ready um, <coughs> And the second thing is uh, we have to check the parameters boundary conditions and background materials before simulating this one and we have to mention an excitation then only uh, we can go to that uh, you know <coughs> transient solver to solve this one so go to simulation uh, first thing you have to check the frequency since i have calculated and designed the square uh, unit cell in x band so I have uh, evaluated the frequency it will be uh, working um, 7 to 13 gigahertz properly so I will press ok uh, then I will select the background background should be um, remain as before um, just you have to mention some lower and upper z axis ls by 2 to ls by 2 since we are going to feed it along z axis otherwise you can try uh, changing the feed uh, <coughs> positions and feed size and you can um, <coughs> view the results uh, by your own to find the best one okay so <coughs> just press okay then we will go for the boundary this is the most important point uh, of a of designing a unit cell if you are using a unit cell boundary condition then it's okay otherwise you have to define the boundary if you have some kind of knowledge uh, on metamaterials so you can uh, easily guess which boundary is suitable you can see these are the magnetic prop, um, you know rings so which will give you a negative uh, permeability value and this one at the back side uh, will give a negative permeativity value so uh, in this axis uh, you know towards the z axis we will have our uh, magnetic axis okay so it will be perfectly magnetic the boundary then in your y axis uh, that is the direction of the wire we will have perfectly electric axis ok then this one uh, that is the x direction will be our uh, you know port means uh, the waveguide will be in this direction we will propagate the wave in this direction so we will uh, make it open ok <coughs> then uh, you can see uh, this is the boundary um, defined ok magnetic this one is electric and uh, this side is open so you can uh, now press ok ok so now the boundary condition is described also um, we have set the frequencies and all those things so uh, if you want to see the field monitors you have to make a larger boundary since we don't need any field monitors we will uh, um, don't use this one okay so <coughs> I just want to see the S parameters that is a transmitting and receiving uh, sorry trans uh, transmission and reflection coefficients okay so we will have these things so now let's go to design the uh, sorry give uh, give excitation to this one so just click on waveguide port from simulation window then